चेहरा से मैं चिन्ह लो सबके तो खाए के अथी कर दे रहा उसका चेहरा से मैं चिन्ह लो जौन जौन पिन्ह बढ़ रहा से का देख लो और चिन्ह लो मैं मुके तो उन्हें जाहे नहीं देवा रहा उन्हें देखला तले चिन्ह लो मैं On March 12, 2016, the remains of a migrant worker were found on a patch of grass in the Nilgiri district, southern India. His name was Magu, a worker in this sprawling tea estate. Postmortem findings revealed Magu's killer was a man-eating tiger. <laughs> आवी जैसन ढूँकी तैसन लगेला खिड़की में बैठ रहा तरह लो तो भात मन खाए होले हुल्की कठी मन लाइन लाइन का आवत रहा लग तो हुल्की तैसन लगत रहा लग मगुस डेथ श्राउडेड द विलेज इन फियर अफ्रेड ऑफ टाइगर अटैक्स मेनी विलेजर्स रेफ्यूज टू स्टेप आउट ऑफ देयर होम्स The forest department tracked Magu's killer for a week and formed a team to catch the animal. But the tiger had to be shot dead after efforts to tranquilize it failed. Declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2012, this valley, surrounded by blue mountains, is now the site of a deadly war between man and beast. According to government records, 166 people in the state were killed by wild animals from 2012 to 2015. Tigers strike great fear among people, but the biggest killer, accounting for over 133 deaths, is an animal worshipped as God in India, elephants. வாரத்தில் ஒரு நாளைக்கு ரெண்டு நாளைக்கு வீட்டுக்கு வருவார் இப்போ காலையிலங்கிறது நேரத்தில் போயிடுவார் இப்போ ஆறு மணிக்கு போயிடுவார் அந்த மாதிரி போயிருக்க டைமில் தான் ஆணைக்கிட்ட அடிபட்டார் த டெத் ஆஃப் முத்தையா ஃப்ரம் அன் எலிஃபென்ட் அட்டாக் ஹஸ் காஸ் க்ரீஃப் அண்ட் ஃப்ரைட் அமங் ஹிஸ் நேபர்ஸ் இன் ஐங்கோலி இஃப் அ வில்லேஜர் வாண்ட்ஸ் டு கோ அவுட் டியூரிங் த சோ கால்ட் எலிஃபென்ட் அவர்ஸ் ஹீ ஆர் ஷீ ரிஸ்க் பீங் ட்ராம்பிள்ட் அப்பான் பை த ஜாயிண்ட் மேமல் So they observe a curfew. Authorities blame human encroachment on the animal's habitat for the attacks. Human-animal conflict is increasing in the past four or five years, not before that. Only in the past four or five years the conflict has increased, mainly uh, due to uh, the shortage of food supply, as I told you, in the inside the forest area. And because of that, it uh, migrates to the other area. That is one reason. Second reason is that there are a lot of uh, private uh, tea estates encroaching upon the forest lands and they try to erect upon the uh, electric fences and because of that the regular route of the elephant is uh, affected and it tries to move crisscross into the other areas. 
and because of that the elephant movement is restricted to the roadside and to the densely populated uh, town areas. The British Raj, which ruled India until 1947, had exploited the Nilgiri biosphere's natural resources since the 1800s. When the Indian government absorbed over 300,000 Sri Lankan refugees in the 1960s and 70s, huge tracts of land were cleared and turned into tea plantations. That gave the people jobs but also disrupted wildlife. <laughs> யாருமே இதுக்கு வந்து எந்த ஒரு முன்னாக்ஷன் எடுக்கிறதே இல்லை யானைகள் வருது போகுது வந்தால் ஃபாஸ்ட் ஆகிறாங்க நாலு பேர் வரவங்க கொஞ்சம் அப்புறப்படுத்துவாங்க மறுநாள் அதே இடத்துக்கு வந்தது இவர் வீட்டுக்கு பக்கத்தில் வந்து டெய்லி வந்து பத்து ஆனால் பன்னெண்டு ஆனால் நின்றுட்டு இருக்கும் இவர் வீட்டை விட்டு வெளில வர முடியாது இங்கே உள்ள பக்கத்தில் உள்ள நாங்களாம் போய் தான் இவர் வீட்டுக்கு வெளில வீட்டை விட்டு வெளில போட்டு வந்த சூழ்நிலை இருக்கு அந்த அவ்வளோ பிரச்சனைகள் இருக்கு இதெல்லாம் வந்து கவர்மெண்ட்டும் முக்கிய நடவடிக்கை எடுத்தே ஆகணும் There is a need for some degree of coexistence with these animals and uh, both with their levels of intellect and thinking, we need to at least understand that in what ways we can minimize the uh, possibility of interaction. That is, we take adequate precautionary measures of um, doing, uh, preventing these late night movements and uh, uh, movements in uh, untimely hours or the times in which elephants are active. Just by that, large amount of conflict can be minimized. Their shrinking habitat is also believed to be a cause of tiger attacks on humans. Territorial fights among male tigers leads them to be critically injured and get pushed out of their home range. Because they are unable to hunt wild animals, they may enter human-dominated areas and go for easier prey like cattle or humans. To make matters worse, the government agency tasked with safeguarding both human and animal lives has poor resources. Uh, if you take the forest department uh, in Tamil Nadu, it has been the last priority of government. Even in the budget uh, time, if you check, the very least budget has been given to the forest department. And the uh, forest department in Tamil Nadu, to be very frank, it is ill-equipped. Sadiq Ali is a local conservationist who has spent more than a decade helping the forest department conserve and protect wild animals in the Nilgiri biosphere. He works with local volunteers and specializes in rescue operations and the safe release of wildlife caught in human traps. One it, once it becomes a man-eater, uh, maybe first incident, maybe an accidental incident, it wouldn't have thought it's a human. Maybe an animal, it kills a human thinking it's an animal. And maybe uh, it may be, it can change uh, its uh, next kill to a wild. But uh, we, uh, as a, from the department side, from the government side, we need to give it time. We need to give a lot of awareness to people and see that the people are safeguarded. And let this animal, the animal has to be tracked first and followed in a proper way and see that it starts hunting by its own and takes up the, like a deer or a wild pig, like that. But again, if it goes for a second human, definitely that animal has to be uh, captured, uh, have to be taken to the captivity. The authorities aim to capture the animals in safety, but not all rescue missions are successful. Like tigers, sloth bears are another species that have become victims of the man-animal conflict. They have been found to stray into human habitat in search of food, water and shelter. In Irupukal village, a sloth bear killed two people and permanently disfigured another. A team from the forest department surrounded the bear in a tea garden and a doctor tried to sedate it. But Sadiq Ali, who was part of the mission, says that some people beat the animal with wooden sticks. The bear attacked them in retaliation. And then it was shot dead. We carried it in the vehicle 
but the people around 3000 people have blocked us and thinking that we have sedated the animal and we are carrying the animal outside to release that's what the people were thinking but it was shot dead they didn't know that it was dead According to Sadiq Ali, successful rescue missions are possible if the operations are strategically planned and executed. On the other hand, an ill-conceived rescue mission could even result in death. And what I feel uh, that particular operation is been a big negative operation wherever whatever operations we have succeeded, and it has taught us lots. In future, we are not supposed to do that. It has given a good lesson to us. In the animal world, there is no sense of personal property. It's a world governed only by the creature's need for survival. A need that often clashes with human beings' interests and often greed. The ongoing war has dealt heavy casualties on both sides, but little has been done to mitigate it. And as humans and animals all continue to fight for their place in this part of the world, an end to the conflict is not yet in sight. For Assignment Asia, I'm Jyoti Karat in the Nilgiris, India. <laughs>